Welcome to Comic Geddon TV, where all things geek culture collide. I'm your guest host, Greg, and today we're going to be looking at Dino Mutt, Dog Wonder. No, not Boy Wonder, that's somebody different. There are some similarities, but very few between the two. Now, if you were to compare Dog Wonder with Boy Wonder, the first thing you would notice is Boy Wonder is a human. Dog Wonder, is he a dog? Well, yes, a robotic dog. Now, Robin is the sidekick of Batman. Yes, Batman. We all love him. But Dog Wonder, Dino Mutt, is the sidekick of Blue Falcon. But both of those, Blue Falcon and Batman, are very similar. So I can see where there is some confusion. Dog Wonder, Boy Wonder, both sidekicks of a Batman type character. Well, one is Batman. Now, since Dino Mutt is mechanical, he can turn himself into many gadgets on the spot. Right here, he decided he needed to become a Dino Bulldozer looks more like a goat or a ram, but either way it was effective. Brrrm, he just pulled down all the bad guys and kept on going. <laughs> Could Robin do that? I don't think so. He's got a utility belt and a few other tricks. He's got some kicks and stuff, but that's about where it ends. Right here, endless gadgets. I've even seen Dino Mutt turn himself into a vacuum cleaner. Can Robin do that? Wait, don't answer. A lot of people try and compare Scooby and Dino Mutt, but I don't really think that's necessary. Scooby is a real dog. He's a Great Dane. Dino Mutt is based off of a Doberman, but he's a robot. Now both of them are very lovable and goofy, but Scooby is scared. Yeah, he's scared of the ghosts and the spooky stuff, but Dino Mutt will run right in, throw caution to the wind, doesn't even think twice, so he's not scared. A lot of the comparisons have started because Scooby and Dino Mutt share a lot of screen time together. That's right, they are actually friends. They've been on adventures, and right here, they're giving each other high fives. So don't pit them against each other. Don't have to choose one. You can have both. Look at Blue Falcon, disguising himself as a door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner salesman. I told you he turned himself into one before. At least it got the bad guy to open the door. Now don't forget about the comic books. There are some hidden gems in there. <laughs> yeah, lots of one-liners and puns. Remember this one issue, um, he has to go for a physical. And the doc says, step up on this scale. And the doc goes, oh my god, you weigh so much! And he goes, well doc, I do have a lot of iron in my diet. <laughs> how tall are you? Well, how tall do you want me to be? Let me listen to your ticker. Boy, it really is ticking. You swallow a stopwatch? Why, are you missing one? Well, you check out fine, but I think you need a bath. The last time I took one of those, I got water in my ears and had to listen to myself rust. This one time he sees an alien ship land out in the woods and he sneaks up and he's listening to them and they're saying, okay, we gotta gather as much information as we can so we can invade Earth. He looks at the camera and says, invade Earth? Can't these space folk find something better to do with their time? Like collect comic books. Him and Blue Falcon are in this mansion. They're looking around for this rare diamond. Blue Falcon says, we gotta search every nook and cranny. He goes, okay, I'll take the nooks, you take the crannies. Dino Mutt comes up behind this guy robbing a grocery store and says, Stop, you crook! The guy turns around, he's wearing a great big banana costume, and he says, Call me Top Banana! Dino Mutt starts laughing. <laughs> he goes, Stop laughing at me! Dino Mutt looks at the camera and says, Get this, the guy's wearing a banana costume and doesn't want to be laughed at. Top Banana yells, Eat fruit, you mechanical mongrel! Then pulls out this great big gun that shoots apples and oranges and lemons and, of course, bananas. They're pelting him all over and he goes, I'm being attacked by the produce department. And then Top Banana says, Boy, they're going to really want me in the evil doers organization after this. Dino Mutt looks at the camera and goes, Well, if they don't, I'll bet the 4-H club will love him. Finally, he stops shooting. Dino Mutt says, Ha! You ran out of fruit, Banana Boy! He says, Wrong, hound! If you didn't know, a tomato's a fruit too! And he picks up this gigantic one, huge, and he throws it and it, and it sticks all over him, sticks into a wall. Only thing how it's sticking out is his head. And he takes off and he's running away. And as he gets down the street, he goes, Wait, I actually forgot to steal something this time. And <laughs> the dynamo goes, I'll catch up with you later. And <laughs> these two guys go walking past. The one goes, Man, that's a big tomato! The other one's got a cowboy hat and says, Nah, we grow them bigger in Texas. Don't play Dino Mutt for a dummy, because he's not. This one guy said, I can't believe I got outsmarted by a dumb dog. He goes, Yeah? Well, tell me this. What has four wheels and flies? The 
the guy goes, I don't know. And he goes, a garbage truck. Look who's the dummy now. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.